Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of portrait painting. Uh, I got a picture of my buddy. We're going to do a profile view. And I really love this because I don't usually do portraits, so it's a lot of practice for me. Uh, uh, but it's a lot of fun. A lot of times I do big abstracts, so every once in a while it's nice to switch it up, do something a little bit more concrete. All right, let's get into it. All right, just getting a simple dark background layer here using spray paints and uh, some other acrylic paints just to get rid of the white of the canvas. Okay, here's our canvas, background ready, and then here's a picture of my buddy. He's in profile. So that's what I'm going to try and uh, reproduce up here. I've already projected his uh, outline up on here. So next step, we'll just block in some main shapes with some skin tones. I'm gonna try and keep it loose and abstract. Um, I'm gonna use uh, acrylic paints. I'm gonna use mostly latex paints, house paints that I have left over. Um, and I'm also gonna be using a lot of um, Oil pastels, as you can see here. Oil pastels, crayons, colored pencils, regular pencils, whatever I have laying around. Okay, start. Okay, so this is just a rough in part of the process. I'm not worried about any details. I'm just basically trying to put um, paint down on the canvas to get started, trying to map out where the shadow is supposed to be and where the lights are supposed to be but not worried about details i'll go back and fill those in later um like i said i, I really like a, a loose style when doing these types of paintings so i'm not going for a very polished look i like the look of a lot of different marks a lot of layers a little bit messy a little bit of chaos but still concrete enough to get across um, the message. So I'm using an unprimed piece of canvas. It's just the exposed cloth and every once in a while I'll do that with uh, these types of portraits because it's got a lot of tooth and uh, it keeps the colors right where I want them to be.
Now for the eyeball here, I'm not going to give it a lot of attention. I'm not going to give it a lot of detail. In the profile view, you see very little of it, and not to mention it's in complete shadow. It's not the focal point of the piece, so I'm not going to worry about trying to make it the focal point of the piece. One thing I'm trying to do with this piece is have my shadows be with cooler colors and have my skin tones be with warmer colors and that will add a little extra layer of contrast and make the piece pop just a little bit more. Alright, that wraps up this piece. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you'd like to see more pieces like this. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.